I ask you, uh, what is the reason why you decided to stay here in the Philippines? Why did I decide to stay or to come here to begin with? Yes. To come here come or here. to stay here? To, 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 stay, to stay here. Or? To stay here? Okay. The people are outrageously friendly. Everybody has been wonderful, friendly to me. The kid, him, he calls me dad, you know? The kids come through and they call me dad. Everybody's been dad. really, really wonderful to me. Ever since I came, okay, so next. I came here to see her. Wonderful. Mm. Uh, next, sir, what Filipino attitude you adore the most? Even when things get bad, I see people smile. Mm. I've seen, I've seen tragedies on television, and the people can still smile, and they have that hope to be happy. And I think that is a wonderful, wonderful attitude that the people have. What, uh, sir, next, what is your favorite Filipino dish? Oh, man, I like everything. <laughs> favorite, oh my god, I love all of them so much. Have you, have you tried uh, balut, balut, sir? Oh, balut, oh yeah, yeah. Balut, chicken heads, everything. I like chicken weird heads. food. I like to try with strange food. Yeah. But uh, I would say um, Myra made a seafood pasta that might have been the best thing I've ever ate in my life. Ever. Mm -hmm. But as a common food that you eat here is chicken adobo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chicken and pork adobo. We don't make adobo. Uh, we don't make adobo in the United States. And when I first tasted, I fell in love. Then next, sir, have you ever sung a Tagalog song? Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I don't know even sing English songs. <laughs> no. and I, when I start to sing, Myra runs away and she would leave me if I sang her in this. Oh, you mean. I would be alone. <laughs> you mean. Um, since the day you went here, sir, how did the Filipino community treat you? From day one, from the very first day I came in, it was, uh, it was nothing but good. I have not had a bad experience here in two and a half years. Not even a little bit. Everything has been very positive. I had a neighbor, I did live down below, and the neighbor was, geez, he act like a brother. Hey, come on, let me show you around, let me show you over here, and we go to a restaurant, and, uh, and it's just been wonderful. It's, it's, I've been treated great by everyone. Next, sir, what's the greatest thing in the Philippines that influenced you the most or made you love the Philippines? I think I'd have to drop back and say the friendliness. The friendliness. Everybody is friendly. Everybody's smiling. I don't hear much. I don't hear any complaining. Everybody is. Everybody seems reasonably content. And I know that you have a hard life that people don't cry about. The Filipinos are How would you tell our uh, your friends about our uniqueness? You're in, tell me that again, will you do that again, please? Uh, uh, we Filipinos are greatly influenced yeah. by, by the Western countries. Yeah. Uh, how, how would you tell our, uh, your friends about our unity? Yeah. There are some things we have to learn from you. There are things we have to learn from you, for sure. Keeping that up attitude is one, keeping that attitude even when things get rough. Is, uh, is a very, very, uh, it's, it's an attitude that should be very respected. Then, if you are aware about our government situation and you are given chance to address the president, what would you like to suggest in order to help us change into a uh, better nation? Everybody here needs to have patience. Oh. Your country is young. You're in, you're in the same, it's the same position we were in years ago. When I look at the, when I, when I, um, 
Look at this country here. There's a lot of things that remind me of when I was a kid in the United States. Young people are going to have a, see a tremendous change. You people have an astoundingly wonderful future ahead of you. I really, in all my heart, I believe that. And I would tell the president, the young people are the things going to make your country go. Treat them right, educate them, and you've got it made over. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. Apparently, sir, we're hoping for an A plus to our report. Oh, that'd be nice. I'd like to see you get A plus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir.